I've done this video before, but it really is worth repeating so that people fully understand. You can't have bosses without employees. You can't have rich people without poor people. If you had nothing in this world except bosses, nothing would ever get done. If you had nothing in this world but rich people, no one would be impressed by anything and nothing would get done because no one would really need to work for any money. With that being said, if you should have learned anything in 2020 financially, is that those jobs that no one talks about, those jobs that no one wants their kids to become when they grow older, those are the jobs that make the world go around. Those are the jobs that make it possible for you to go on vacation. Those are the jobs that make it possible for you to go out to eat or to go to a stadium, to a concert, whatever it is. Those jobs that no one likes to talk about and nobody wants to do, but people have to do. Those are the jobs that make our world go around. So show a little respect. Now, our economy is very simple, but it's been taught to you the wrong way because it's been taught to you on a lie. And Donald Trump keeps, um, well, he keeps forcing this lie on you. So let me explain it to you. The stock market is not an indicator of a strong economy. It's not. The only thing the stock market does is show us where money is being spent. The indicator of a strong economy is actually very, very simple. It's, it's not even how many people are employed. That's not the indicator of a strong economy either. The indicator of a strong economy is at the end of the month, when you finish paying your necessary bills, the bills that you need to live, your rent, your food, clothing on your back, the necessities. If you have money left over to save or for luxury items or even to invest, that's the sign of a strong economy. If you have money left over after you've paid your, necess your necessities, if you can do all three of these things, that's a strong economy. The stock market only benefits people who have active money being invested into the stock market. Now, somebody uh, is about to say, well, what about my 401k? Your 401k is actively invested in the stock market, but not by you. The reason that we moved from pensions to 401ks and tying your retirement money into the stock market is so that you, the average person who's not an investor, will care about the stock market. That's it. That, that's the reason. This, this is our economy simplified. Because let's be honest, if your 401k wasn't tied to the stock market, you wouldn't give two shits about the stock market. I'm not sure why this is hard to understand. Our economy is based on you spending money you don't have on things you don't need. And as long as you keep making rich people rich, because during a time of the COVID pandemic and the lockdown, billionaires raked in $637 billion in six months of people losing their jobs, can't pay their rent or their mortgage, don't know where the next meal is coming from. Let that sink into your head for a second. Think about that. How 
are billionaires getting richer in a time where you, the people who make them rich, because let's be honest, rich people are only rich because you keep handing them your money, made so much money. It's because you went into debt to give them the, your money. That's the thing about our economy right now. No one, no one ever points out the fact that more, more and more credit is flowing through our system and less and less cash is going, actually going through it. That's the reason you have such high credit card debt, such high housing debt, such high college student loan debt. But none of this matters. Because even if you watch this video all the way to the end, you're not gonna care. You're gonna run out, you're gonna buy the latest iPhone, you're gonna buy the PS5, the latest gadget, whatever clothes they say is in fashion now, $300 sneakers and you don't even have an athletic bone in your body. So none of it really matters. Because human beings fascinate me and you always do things against your own best interest. Which is fine, I really don't care. Except you make my life more difficult and more expensive when you do these stupid things. Now don't get me wrong, I like to have the latest gadgets, I like to go out to dinner, vacations, all that stuff too. I just don't think I should be paying the price of what everybody else is asking because you paid that price. See, that's the amazing thing about price. We control price. Someone can only charge you what you're willing to pay. And when you get a group of people who are willing to pay, you can charge whatever you want. There's so many lies about our economy one of the lies, is, it's one of my favorite where they say, competition keeps costs and prices down. No, it doesn't. If competition really did that, prices would never go up. Costs would never go up. But people will keep paying. So as long as people keep paying, companies will keep upping the prices. Another one of my favorite lies is the one that Republicans constantly push, and that's if we give tax breaks to the rich people, then they'll pass it on to the people under there. It's trickle down and kind of shut up. That's not how business works. That's not how profit happens. Profit happens because you run a business with the least amount of people as possible so that you can spend the least amount of money as possible while still putting out your product. No employee, no employer, sorry, or CEO of anything looks at a tax break and goes, hey, now we can hire more people. No, no. That's not how you pull in bigger profits. You pull in bigger profits by spending the least amount of money, by having the least amount of employees. I'm not sure why this is hard to understand, but it's really this simple. And I, I know you've gone your whole life believing the lies that you keep being fed. And then you have people like Donald Trump come along and continue to fe feed you these same lies. So after you keep hearing lie after lie after lie after lie, it kind of sounds like the truth. But I'll just say this when it comes to not just this topic, but all topics in life. Ignorance is only bliss to the ignorant. <laughs>